So the next thing we're going to take a look at in Yamdu is the breakdown and shot area. So we click here and you see that this is uh, where you go to have a look at everything related to the scenes or shots you are working on depending on what kind of project you are working on. And as you can see here I've already created two scenes. Uh, they are color coded according to whether they take place at day or night or in an interior or exterior setting. Uh, and these settings you can manage by clicking on settings and scrolling down to choose whatever colors you would like to, to use for these different types of uh, scenes. So returning back to the scenes, you can see here that I've created these two scenes earlier and we have some information about characters and extras and other things that we will look, look at uh, when we create a new scene now. So I click here on create scene and I have to give the scene an ID and since uh, it is the third scene, I've already created two previously, I will choose tree here. Uh, for the environment, I think I will choose from this drop down menu night interior and when it comes to the set the set uh, I have certain options that I already created here but uh, I think I want to choose ship in this case so I, I can add ship or I can choose from a previously uh, created set if I wish to so now I can add a brief description and in this case I will say uh, they approach the island, uh, but obviously I can add more information as much as you need to set the scene for what's taking place, but in this case I think that's enough to begin with. So I click on create. And now you see that the scene has been added here, it's a different color again because it's, it's a different setting and time, and I'll just sort this so that all of the scenes are in order, and now you can see that my scene has been added here. So if I click into the scene, I can edit the general information. So now I have a few more options that I didn't have when I began to set up the scene. Uh, I have the information I added, but I can also add uh, the script day, script page. Uh, if I have a full script, the number of script pages. So let's say this is uh, quite a short scene. Let's say it's six eighths. I can also choose the estimated time, how long this scene will last, or is estimated to last in the film, or the scheduled time, how long it will take to film the scene itself. And I can also choose, if I wish to, uh, to assign this to a unit. Okay, so I click done here. And as you can see, I have options that are very interesting here. Uh, I can duplicate the scene if I want and maybe edit some parts of it. Uh, I can also merge the scene with another one if I feel that's necessary. So that's a very useful function. Uh, and as usual with YAMD you have uh, PDF exports and can see who has seen this information. You can also mark it to your dashboard if you wish to. So for this scene itself we can see here if we scroll down that uh, you can add many different elements to the scene itself. You can add characters and extras, costumes, specific makeups for actors or actresses in the scene, and everything related to a huge number of departments within the production. But uh, the first thing we might take a look at here uh, is adding a character. So in this scene I wish to add a character. I can choose from uh, previously created characters that I might have had in other scenes. So in this case I think oh yeah, well, James is in this scene, but I can also uh, add characters very easily. So let's say there is a character called uh, Daniel in this scene. I can just add him and now he has been added to the list here and he is in the scene with James. So that's a useful way to just add characters as you create them and fill out the information related to the scene. So the last thing we will take a look at here is another useful feature and this is if we scroll down uh, we can have a look here at some of the other options and we have the option to create a shot. So if we click on this we can add a shot to the scene. Let's say the subject is the ship as it approaches the island. Let's say that this is a wide shot and that it is uh, overhead. 
and let's say okay we have some options here maybe it uh, pans as it follows the ship and we're going to need a drone to film this because it's overhead it's a wide shot so let's click on drone and now we can create this specific shot in relation to the scene so Yamdu offers you a lot of ways to customize the scene, to add information uh, in relation to costuming shots and uh, many different things related to different departments. So you can really see how scenes in Yamdu uh, can really uh, become worlds in themselves. You can add as much information as you want or need to really flesh out the scene uh, before you've uh, come to filming. Another really useful feature, if we look at the main section here of the breakdowns and shots area, is that if I hover over one of the scenes, I have the option not just to duplicate and merge scenes, but also to split the scene in two. So if I click on this, if I want to say that this scene for some reason has a transition between rooms or something that I feel would maybe be better to change this to two scenes, uh, all I need to do is click on yes and Yamdu has now created a split situation where the scene has been divided into 1A and 1B. That's it for now, goodbye.